Pisces, welcome to the Violet Realm. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad you're here today. I want to thank all the Pisces who have watched my channel and subscribed. I really appreciate you guys. Today, I'm doing a timeless tarot reading. Uh, there's no question I'm asking. I'm just seeing what Spirit's going to bring through for Pisces. And uh, keep in mind, it's a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer private readings. All that information and my social media will be in the description box below and somewhere on the screen. So Pisces, how are you doing? What's up? Uh, I selected uh, certain cards for you guys. So um, these are kind of, they're more like a light energy, um, like starseed energy, light energy, etheric energy. Um, it's just a different frequency from the cards I was using for the previous, um, the previous astrology signs. So I switch it up, keep it fresh. So let's get one card here for Pisces. I'm feeling beautiful energy coming from Pisces. So, um, lots of, uh, lots of wonderful light coming forward. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling that weight of the world boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. Yeah. You know, Pisces, we can take on the burdens of others because we want to help. I feel like you guys want to help. You want to be there for people. And sometimes, you know, you need to be there for yourself, Pisces. You can't solve everyone's problems and uh, you know you can only do so much people have to want to help themselves and I feel like some of you this may be family friends it could be your partner but you may be feeling a little burdened by um, a connection here break the chain yeah ancestral patterns healing and rewriting the future okay yeah well this is heavy energy for Pisces I really didn't expect this um okay sorry about that Pisces I'm battling a cold so uh, sometimes I have to stop and cough, <laughs> but we're going to keep going, you know, getting around those obstacles. I'm feeling that with Break the Chain here, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. I think you're getting guidance on how to let go of some of these burdens that no longer serve you. Uh, I feel for many, this is a person, this is someone who has been toxic with, with Pisces. Bring love into the situation. I'm feeling like there's a need for you to love yourself enough to let go. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um... This feels like an important person or a job. Uh, it really does feel like a person, though. So um, if that doesn't resonate, this may not be the reading for you. And you can check your your sun, your, your, your moon rising, your Venus sign. All right. Woo. I'm going to be pulling from the uh, Starman Tarot, which is a very special deck. Um, uh, the, the person who designed this deck was the um, artist for David Bowie. And uh, he did a lot of his album work as well. And there's just a lot of light codes in this deck. And I feel it's really appropriate for what Pisces is going through. Um, this is a huge transformation. When we can really honor our own boundaries and uh, be brave. And, uh, you know, love ourselves enough to let go when we need to. Uh, and I'm seeing the new moon in Aquarius here on the Moonology card. Uh, I feel like... Um, there's some distraction here with this Aquarius energy. Uh, this this uh, chain, this weight, it may be coming a distraction to you and really kind of taking your vital force. So it's time to let it go. All right. All right. That's a victory card. <laughs> that's the Starman card. Woo. We have the Prince of Swords. You know, I'm going to keep pulling and then we're going to talk about it because... Okay, the Prince of Swords here. In this deck, for me, since I have used, began using this deck, this Prince of Swords is the F-Boy card. And not gender, it's energy. This is someone other people want. This person knows they want them. This may be your, your break the chain, okay? This is someone who, um, I'm feeling a lot of cold energy here. Uh, they may not really be there for you emotionally. Um, and I feel like the Nine of Pentacles energy with Pisces, this is what Pisces wants. Pisces wants connection and depth and beauty and harmony. And um, the Starman uh, card is really special. It's a very unique card in this deck. And it's really about, it's, it's, that, it's the magician, but elevated, okay? It is someone who is commanding their environment. It's like as if you let go of this toxicity, this person um, who really... 
I feel like they don't have your best interests at heart. You, you are going to feel some victory here with the Six of Pentacles. You're going to feel supported. There's support coming through. It's like, it's a, almost like a test, I feel, for Pisces. Like, can you let go of this person? Um, are you strong enough to let go of this person? Yes, Pisces, you can. I feel like this, this is somebody who had meaning to you or still does. And I think the intuition is that th there's something going on here. Maybe you're not aware of. Let's clarify. the. Uh, okay, well, that was quick. Okay, you have the two of wands. Okay, let's clarify some more. Yeah, you're, I feel like there's a crossroads. I'm seeing a crossroads here with the raven. Um, I feel like you have a choice here to make. And uh, spirit really wants you to look deep. We have the high priestess and see through the bullshit. The high priestess, she can see, and that's energy, not gender. She sees truth. And uh, she moves towards the truth. And that will help you with the decision. Okay, this may, for some, this may be a job. Okay, but um, it feels like a person. If it's a job, it's a person at your job who's probably giving you a hard time. And um, yeah, it's not making you feel the best. We have the Prince of Pentacles here. This is often the technology card for me. So this may be someone you know online, Pisces, who, um, wow, they just really don't have your best interests at heart. Uh, I'm feeling like they may be manipulative, a user out for what they can get from you. They may see you as someone to conquer with this uh, sword here pointing down or, or falling. I can't, is it pointing down or is it? Let me look here. Yeah, he's kind of like holding it and letting go of it. The raven shows up. I'm feeling like the raven here. We have bird in the knight of pentacles here and we have a bird in the raven here. I feel like spirit is trying to communicate with you about this person. I, I feel like spirit is saying this person is not what they claim to be Pisces and um, to listen to your intuition with the nine of Pentacles here. Um, yeah, listen to the, your intuition and uh, whew, okay, they want me to they want me to clarify the nine of Pentacles. I'm gonna clarify some of these cards. This feels difficult, but I, I feel like there there's resources and support here and you can do it. You have everything you need here. Um, and I'm feeling like you know it in your gut. Like many of you are actually feeling the validation of this in your gut, right? And, you know, don't let someone steal your shine, your happiness, or your health, right? We have the sun and we have the nine of swords. I, I don't read a lot of reversals unless I'm directed and I'm not being directed to. So, um, so I feel like um, there's a lot of energy about being in your head, not seeing your way out, being just completely bothered and overwhelmed with what to do, where to go. Pisces, I feel you're overwhelmed here with this energy around you, this person. I feel like um, for some of you, you feel like you don't know your way out. You don't know how to break the chain. The weight is just ripping you up. It's just, it's too heavy. And I, the, the, um, the energy of bring love into the situation it will help you turn the wheel. It will help you get out of this. So take care of yourself, Pisces. Focus on what you need, okay? It's okay to focus on your own needs. It's okay to put yourself first, all right? Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm getting a lot of guidance that that's exactly what you need to do. You need to take some time for yourself. You need to maybe need to pull away from this person to get perspective because I feel like their energy is a little bit malignant, maybe a little narcissistic. This could be a friend. This could be someone who presented as a friend who hasn't been very friendly to you. Jupiter abundance. Yeah. See, they're, they're trying to move your energy out of this and move you into turning the wheel and getting to the good stuff. This is Pisces getting to the good stuff. You know, clearing a negative energy, clearing people in our lives who don't have our best interests at heart is difficult, you know, because you got to let go. You got to let go of your ideas of how you thought the person was and what your relationship was. It's like a whole new reality of what really was going on, you know. I feel betrayal here with this Prince of Swords. The Prince of Pentacles, it feels like it could be an online connection, some kind of technology. Uh, and maybe this has been going on for a long time and you're just finding out about it. Empowerment, 26. The frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully, completely, uniting us with others in this deep trust that we all are connected through the same source. Yeah, I'm feeling that. There's a sense of empowerment here as you uh, surrender this Prince of Swords energy, as you let it go and understand that what was had reason, had purpose, and now it's time to get into some new energy um, and really 
I'm feeling like for some of you, like this is karma ending between you and someone and you moving on to something better. And you may be in that transition right now. You may have let this person go. And I feel like some Pisces let people go mentally and emotionally before they actually tell them they've let them go, you know, before that reality kind of sinks in. Um, because Pisces likes to be clear about when it comes to working with people and uh, letting people go and that kind of thing. They want to be clear about, it, you know, if if that's something they really need to do. And that's this energy here. Some, sometimes it leads to overthinking. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Nature's wisdom. Okay. Yeah, they want to be... To you to connect with nature they want you to go outside connect with um, ancient ancestors primal ancestors uh, connect with uh, water and sky and earth and I'm getting like a vibe here of just really getting into enjoying being okay that will really help you empower yourself to let go because you're gonna know that you're you deserve more you deserve more than how you've been treated and um, that goes for relationships, work, wherever. You deserve to be treated with respect. And I feel like the Prince of Swords here is disrespectful. And that is not gender, that is energy. No one deserves to be disrespected at work, at home, wherever. You deserve to be treated with kindness and compassion. Uh, like all humans do, right? Okay, I'm going to cut it and draw. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Huh. That's interesting. The lover's card from the Starman Tarot was in this deck. And I shuffled these decks before I did this reading. I checked them. So that is weird. Okay, so we're going to end on the lover's situation. So I feel like um, they're trying to bring in, obviously, a collaboration. This could very much be romantic. It, for It's like 70 80% romantic for you guys. So uh, this could be a work uh uh, collaboration that maybe turns into something romantic or um but i'm feeling like this person's going to come in as you let go of this prince of swords energy okay now i can't end the reading with the lover's card right i, can't, I just can't that's not right it doesn't seem right you know okay they want me to do this all right we're going to pull the lovers apart not apart but you know what i'm saying we're going to pull the lovers separately i'm going to clarify with the dreams of gaia deck and uh go from there all right, you can't end a reading with the lovers out on the table unexplained, right? That's not fair. Right, I agree. All right, let's talk about the lovers. Pisces. The lovers. It feels like, um, you know, like a cool breeze. Like this is a refreshing connection. Uh, this is... Um, Wow, all right. this is, um, God, it feels like wholesome. I think maybe the Prince of Swords energy maybe made you feel like not wholesome. Maybe it didn't, you didn't feel like love, love energy. You wanted to, and maybe you did, but they didn't. But there was something about the connection that didn't feel, you know, they didn't have your best interest at heart. It's as if they were an illusion, right? They wore a mask. And I think Pisces really, you know, we all have masks, but I think you were really honest and vulnerable with this person. And, uh, like, it could have been work, right? Okay. I'm not taking all of them. Okay. I'm going to pull, like, um, I call it a pyramid. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all those before I flip them over. Okay. All right. I'm going to cut it. All right. Sometimes that's how we do it. Okay, I'm not reading reversals here. Ah, from the birth. Beautiful, you guys. Can you guys see these? I'm trying to move them where you guys can see them. Abundance. We'll put abundance right here. Okay, and this is a lever. So... We're clarifying the lovers here. Uh, this is crazy energy here. Uh, I can't pronounce this. I'm not going to try. Uh, but this feels like Earth Mama energy. Uh, that's not gender. That's energy. Uh, really uh, in touch. This is Pisces being in touch with um, who they are. And I'm feeling like 
this every time I see the dog I'm feeling a guide with the keys I'm feeling like Hecate energy um, witchy energy uh, really using your light flow the flow within your light body to create within your world love is on the mind with you Pisces I feel like you're really wanting to balance there's that choice that choice of letting go of what no longer serves you letting go it this may be baggage from a previous relationship or this person could still be in your life and you're needing to let go it's that choice we talked about earlier and we have uh, your chakra system on fire lit up this is what you want to see this is what how you want to be and it's like making this choice is going to bring in this energy moving into that energy we have the crone the body and mind supporting the king of earth so i'm feeling divine counterpart although these are different they are the same so it is like twin energy. I don't like that label. An important soulmate. This is a vital person to your growth. And um, there's wisdom here coming forward from this choice, from this um, love that you gave. Um, really just, I'm feeling like from a really wholesome, beautiful place. Like just wanted an elevated kind of love. And I, I think you just happened to, to meet up with someone who kind of maybe took advantage of that a little bit. And... Um, this is you getting grounded, making the choice, and really working on your connection to your soul, to your spirit, to who you are, and moving forward. And uh, body and mind here, we have dragon energy. Uh, I'm feeling like starseed energy with this card as well. Very magical connection. Pisces is developing with their vessel. And I feel like getting control of these thoughts that maybe kept you in the stagnation and inability to make a choice or inability to see someone's true intentions. And um, getting the wisdom from that, the king of earth, the king of the domain of the material, really moving into what I want. How do I get there? And um, this person, this feels like your person. So it's not gender, it's energy. Um, we have deer, um, deer with the horns here. I'm feeling a lot of like um, green man, Baphomet energy here. Uh, very wise, crone, body and mind. Like th this person feels very... Okay, this is a weird way to put it, but it feels smooth. Like the energy here is smooth. There's not a lot of jaggedness. It's going to be very peaceful for, for Pisces. This is a healer. This is someone's going to come heal you. And Pisces, this healer may be built just for you. They were created just for you because they're your person. And your person can heal you in ways that others cannot, okay? And uh, so these lovers here, this is a powerful combination. I feel like you heal each other as you connect. And the outcome of this is abundance. And I always say abundance is different for different people. But this is for like emotional fulfillment, having a family. This is uh, having the things you need, having the things you want, going on vacations, being happy, um, being fulfilled. It's like Pisces linking up with that energy of having a happy life and allowing the universe to bring to you this very magical person who is going to know you. And it, they may know you to the point where it unnerves you a little bit, Pisces, and that's okay, right? Getting out of our comfort zone often is how we grow. So uh, don't run. Don't run from this person when they present Pisces. Just allow the universe to unfold the story for you. And you react in the most authentic way you can. As long as you are true to who you are, uh, everything's going to be all right, Pisces. You just have to honor yourself. And that's where the choice is so powerful as you honor yourself, honor what you really need. It's time to listen to what you need and move towards that. And good things are coming. And, uh, Okay, that's what I got for you, Pisces. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye, Pisces.